little Photoshop Senior Edition, folks. Well, my buddy Chris Kilman wasn't in our Photoshop session the other day, and if you remember, I just happened to play with a couple of images in Camera Raw the other day, and Chris didn't see this, so I thought, well, I'll make a video of this so everybody can have this uh, as a reminder. Because this evolves out of the uh, Sky Blue uh, video uh, that, uh, that Steve Duncan asked about. If you've got a little bit of blue in your sky, you can make your whole sky blue and even make it a really rich blue. So this, this is an image uh, that I decided to play with, just experiment with, the same controls to see if I could really bump up the colors. Because in the HSL sliders, uh, I thought, surely we can do some more stuff with those sliders. So I, I opened up this image this comes from our uh, last year uh, fall photo trek where I just uh, photographed this reflection more than anything and let's just open this up <clears throat> and it will come up in uh, camera raw and I see there is al already a, a little icon showing there's been an adjustment so I'm gonna kill that so I'm gonna go down to develop settings and clear those settings I didn't really see anything that's there. I'm going to double click on it and it will bring it up in camera raw which is ginormous. Bring that down to where everybody can see it. So let's go into HSL slash grayscale and start with luminous. Now we know we've got some orange and yellows in here and there's no reason why we can't uh, mess with several colors because we do have several in here greens as well and, and even some blues and and remember this comes from Steve's uh, request for the blue sky idea so if we do mess with the blue skies which if we took the blues to the left you see right down here in the blues we're having a, a big time effect on on the blues so if you can affect the blues this way, why can't you affect all the other colors in the image? Now this was a, a fall uh, trip that we were taking. So we do have fall colors, but they're very muted. So if we uh, go ahead and, and work on the other colors that are in here, you see uh, if we take the oranges up, we play with the uh, luminance of the yellows and just because we don't uh, see a lot of changes in things yet you see the greens are, are changing over there on the left right in here uh, aquas we don't have a lot of aquas but it doesn't hurt to you know to run those sliders back and forth and see if any changes are taking place and then we switch to saturation and we move those same sliders um, and the reds we're not seeing much but watch the oranges now that's that's a major change then the yellows obviously really bumping that up now the greens Go down to the blue, watch the, the blues. Definitely a lot richer in the blues. Then you go down to you. Oranges. Take it to the left. Yellows. The greens. You really make the greens pop. The blues again. Notice how the blues have changed the sliders going from a uh, light blue to purple. So look at the sky color now. So you see uh, a very dramatic change 
from where we started. So now you can go right back to luminance again and you can change this again to make you, you know, to satisfy. You can go right back through everything again until you're happy with what you've got. So then I, I also went to bridge and opened up, uh, we could open up this image. Can't really uh, see. I opened up one in this area here is the one. And you can see it's pretty drab right now. I'm going to clear the settings on it as well. Bring it into raw. And I don't think we've got a lot in the red area, but again, the orange we do, the yellows we do, we've got some greens. I'm just going to go ahead and punch those a little bit. I'm in saturation. It should be in luminance. Now we're bringing some light into this area. You see it popping up a little bit. And now back to saturation. Let's go to U. Left on the oranges. You can see what's happening in the blues over here. Just got to, you know, make yourself happy with where everything is and then again go back to luminance and make sure the the light is where it's going to make you happy I think you see that we've taken a rather dull uh, set of colors and really bumped this thing up a great deal. So we don't have a, a before and after to look at right now, but uh, I don't think our memory is quite that short that we can't uh, remember it. But I'm going to pause this for just a second and go kill those settings so we can see a before and after. So there's our our first image and you can see that uh, pretty dramatic. I think we could have uh, bumped it up even more. Let me just bring up this part of the image for comparison's sake. So you see we've pulled the colors a little bit and I could have gone quite a bit more I think. Let me bring up the other one. Now you can see I didn't uh, make real dramatic changes on on this one but let me show you another version that I did of this one and that would be this one and it was done exactly the same way. So you can you know adjust those colors and really play with the light uh, via the luminance the saturation and so forth uh, until you get these images just the way you want. Could have brought more reds out in this image but instead I went with the yellows. Uh, so lots of control that we can have in, in these images via the HSL. So have some fun and experiment with those. Uh, it's not to say that this has to be done on fall colors for sure uh, when things are muted. Uh, everyday images, uh, uh, nature type sh photographs, I think this would work uh, especially well in uh, landscape type photographs and so forth. Uh, but also I think even in, in portrait shots uh, this can work well in too 
uh, just, you know, have to use some restraint, obviously, uh, in our considerations as well. So that wraps this up. I hope that you got something out of it. I'll talk to you all later. Bye-bye.